Hello, everyone. Welcome to how to work with subtle energies like essential oils. So today we're going to talk a little bit about essential oils. I'm going to be mentioning them throughout the program that you'll be noticing. And I love this. Um, one of my psychic gifts um, has to do with aroma and fragrances and smells. Smells very much so activate and bring my psychic awarenesses online. And we all have different um, keys like that. Um, if you are sensitive to smells, um, you might also have this. So, um, but we, you might not. It might just be that you don't like smells. Um, people with autism or on the spectrum tend to be kind of be reversed. So kind of keep in mind that what one oil says for one person might not always be the same for you. We're all different, beautiful fingerprints, right? We're not the same. Um, but each chakra has essential oils that are known to kind of activate, um, harmonize, balance these chakras. There are even some that will kind of help um, release depending if it's over or under. I tend to focus more on the activating, harmonizing, and balancing aspect um, because what we want is we want to let them flow equally and openly. We don't really want to turn the dials here and there and kind of play with that too much. I think that that's kind of counterintuitive. I think it's better to just kind of think about opening the wheels and working with them. So I consider essential oils part of my subtle energy healing work. So um, I'm going to pick um, my now I make my own essential oil blends. So for example, this is my root chakra blend. Uh, it contains clove oil. Um, it includes patchouli, black spruce, myrrh, cypress, cinnamon, um, and a doTERRA blend called Balance. And a couple others that are my secret. So what I do is you want to start by taking whatever oil you're working with and you want to rub it on your hands. And what this does is it kind of takes the oils and it activates it with the heat of the palm of your hands. It works with the chakras on the palm of your hand. Deep breath in and out. And do it again. I automatically feel more grounded, centered, and focused in my body. Essential oils will have a high, a middle, and a low note in terms of fragrances. So you might get one note or high fragrance the minute you smell it. And then over time wearing it, you'll notice another. So for example, with this one, the high note is the clove oil. I smell it first. And then as it's on me longer, I smell more of the cypress and the the patchouli. Um, and as I'm wearing it longer, probably smell more of the, uh, the pines and the sandalwoods coming in. So one, there are so many different ways that you can use essential oils. So if we're talking from um, like a doTERRA or a young living, like a high grade medicinal essential oil, um, some can be taken internally. So for example, um, like lemon oil, um, it's great to put a little drop of lemon oil in your water um, and it's not as acidic on your teeth as an actual lemon would be. Um, they also have that's, um, they can be taken, you know, they don't have to necessarily be diluted or, or just put topically on your skin or in your diffuser. If you are new to essential oils, please do the research. Do the research for your body, do the research, and always take small samples first. And then as you get more comfortable with the oils, you can kind of um, expand from there. Again, I'm not a doctor, so always use your um, information. I do take my essential oils um, like a supplement. 
Um, but I don't recommend that you do that if you're just starting out um, because it takes a while to kind of get used to that practice. The best way that I think to use essential oil from a spiritual perspective is to take an oil that will activate whatever it is that you're working on. And the beautiful thing about nowadays is we can Google and look up all the different information about the oils and how they'll work with us. You can try it um, and see how it works with you. Always start small. You can dilute them with carrier oils like coconut oil or jojoba and put them in a roller bottle like this and make them for yourself. Um, or you can just put them right on your skin. Um, but again, always go go sample. The one, one reason why I love the hands too is because our hands are very strong. And if, if it is an oil that doesn't work well with your skin, you can, you know, just kind of wash it off. But, and you don't even, when you smell it, you don't even have to touch your face. And you can get that fragrances. If you think about it from a, a subtle energy perspective, essential oil is the root it's or the flower or the bark or it is an actual plant and it's been pressed for the oil so it has this higher frequency than we do so by simply taking and activating it and putting it into we're activating brain centers which are telling us oh we're working at a higher frequency right now so they can ground us or they can elevate us depending or open up different chakras depending on where we are. I also love, for example, putting essential oils on the bottoms of my feet. There are so many chakras on the bottoms of your feet. If you've ever heard of reflexology um, or know about it, you can actually pinpoint where to put the oils on your feet. But rubbing like a, a, a like a a grounding oil like balance which is a blend from doTERRA or for example like a, a sandalwood or a cypress or a patchouli on the bottoms of your feet grounds that energy right in kind of activates through your feet chakras reflexology and goes to where it's needed to in your body this is also really great to do for example if you work in an office with fragrances that make other people are uncomfortable or you're a nurse or a doctor and you can't really behave smelling. Put them on your feet um, and no one will even know that they're there. Um, so um, I also recommend getting to know um, how you relate to essential oils because like I said we're all going to relate to them differently. Now in the root chakra we are grounding so we're wanting very earthy um, earth tones, grounding kind of oils. So I love patchouli, sandalwood. Uh, I love um, anything that smells earthy or piney like cypress or black spruce, um, black pepper, grounding, protection, anything like that. And of course you can always Google all of the oils for their spiritual meaning and find out what works best for you. If you are new and you're going to just get um, one essential oil um, for uh, for this, I would say probably get a spruce or a patchouli. Um, they work overall great. Be careful uh, using essential oils in the bath um, because there are some oils like, for example, clove or cinnamon you shouldn't have. Um, in the bath water with you. So if you were to want to work with one of those oils, you'd want to put them in a carrier or like a bath salt. Um, and that's a little bit harder to do. So I, I wouldn't recommend at that point doing that uh, for right now. But if you want to learn more, contact me and we can you know talk more about learning how to do that. I make a, um, I've got it right here. I make a beautiful blends for the bath salts that are made with Epsom salts or a combination of pink Himalayan salts that you can kind of put into the bath um, and work with them that way or as a shower scrub, which is always very nice. But do be careful in the actual bath just because your body um, is sitting in there and um, if it's a hot or a high, you might get a rash or something on your skin. So be careful with essential oils. I love them. They're wonderful. 
but um, sometimes people will get started on essential oils and if they don't know a lot about them, they kind of go all out and they start taking them internally when they don't really know how they're gonna affect their body. As with everything, this is your body. So you have to be very careful with it and trust your intuition. You can always consult with doctors or medical practitioners or experts um, if you have questions about it. Um, you know, Google's great, but it does have some of its limitations. Um, I would also mention if you're working, if you're in my chakra embodiment series, that I would recommend that if, for example, if you're working on the root chakra and you have the root chakra blend, you would I would recommend that you rub that right on the back on the base of your spine, right? Right where the right where the base of the spine starts or on your feet um, as a foundation, right? And what that does is it kind of sends the signals to your brain. Uh, grounding root. I know right where to go. So um, I think that's a good start for essential oils and how to work with them and how to use them. Uh, if you would like to work with me, please check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash love and light spelled L U V N L eight, eight, eight. Um, I'm putting together a couple different programs and webinars, um, some for hair regrowth, um, some for chakra embodiment. And I'm also a Reiki master and crystalline soma healer. So I would love to work with you in terms of, um, subtle body energetic healing, um, or if you're looking for a, a, a coach, someone to guide you on your spiritual journey, it would be my honor to work with you. Thank you so much for coming to work and doing the work on yourself and your soul because as you heal yourself, we all heal collectively. And so thank you for the work that you're doing on yourself and thank you for who you be. Again, I look forward to talking with you and connecting with you more. Blessings.